Joining me now from Southern California, attorney and congressional candidate for California District 28, which is the seat currently occupied by Adam Schiff, Eric Early. Eric, so we had the John Bolton aide not show up for testimony today. Yeah. And not, not surprised. And I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Why? Number one, because the process is being trampled upon by the Democrats in the House of Representatives. And number two, we have this pesky thing called the separation of powers. Yeah, you know, this, this entire process is a corrupt process. Uh, I'm running against Schiff to replace him uh, if he doesn't get removed from the Congress beforehand, uh, which would really uh, be a perfect thing. But, um, you know, you mentioned a little bit uh, earlier, this guy's running a Stalin-esque process. Uh, in, in a proper legal proceeding, there would be other lawyers there representing the uh, Trump side. Uh, because what happens now is Schiff asks questions of these people. He can lead them into answers that they might not want to say or might not be completely accurate. He stops the questioning before uh, there can be any kind of information that would just bury Sh uh, Schiff's case. And there's no opposing lawyer there to get up there and question the witness, rehabilitate him, ask him questions that Schiff was, is too afraid to ask him uh, because he doesn't want to hear answers. You know, I've been an attorney for almost 30 years. And this whole process is just corrupt. Um, I would throw in one more thing, Eric, yeah. and that is it would be nice for uh, the American people to be able to see this process as well. Uh, uh, there's yeah. a legal side to it, but then there's also this thing called the First Amendment. So he's running this secret star chamber uh, investigation, and he says he's wondering why the Republicans are so upset. Roll tape. I can understand why the president doesn't want these witnesses to come forward. What I find harder to understand is why the Republican members of this body in this House don't want these witnesses to come forward. Where is their duty to this institution? Where is their duty to the Constitution? Amazing. Duty to the Constitution, duty to the House of Representatives. We know there's congressional precedents for uh, in the impeachment process. The Republicans don't mind these witnesses coming forward. They just want the president's attorneys to be able to talk to them like they did in 1998 under Bill Clinton and the impeachment process there. They want to be able to call witnesses on their own. You know, I am so tired of this guy Schiff acting like he's morally superior when he is morally bankrupt. You know, he has taken his position as the head of the House uh, Intelligence Committee. He has totally politicized it. He has, he has changed the meaning and and the protections and everything that this once august and great, uh, uh, you know, committee would do to the point where people who have confidential information won't go to the guy because they're, they're afraid he will leak it. So for him to get up there and start acting and saying, Republicans, uh, how could they not allow this? And it, this guy's ship is just bad news. And the only thing that keeps him going, of course, is the mainstream media, which fuels every outrageous thing he says. Mainstream media is protecting uh, oh. Adam Schiff. Oh, yeah. Why isn't the mainstream media screaming First Amendment, allow us into the committee so we can report? It's unbelievable. If the tables were turned, the Republicans were doing this, the mainstream media would be walled away all screaming at Adam Schiff, but they're not. And so impeachment, this process, is not a criminal process. It does deserve due process. It's not a criminal process. But if we go, Eric, back to 1998 and the resolution on the Clinton impeachment, quote, subpoenas and interrogatories so authorized may be issued over the signature of the chairman and ranking minority member and may be served by any person designated by the chairman right. or the ranking minority member. Right. So here we go. There is congressional precedence for what is going on here. And I would add that all of this in 1998 was not done under the cloak of secrecy in the Intel Committee. It was done in the Judiciary Committee out in the open. Right. It was a fair process. And oh, by the way, Clinton was uh, proven to have broken the law. He lied under oath. President Trump hasn't broken any laws whatsoever. But at least that process was fair and open, because if you're going to try and replace our president, you better give us a fair and open process. Listen, most of the American people are figuring this guy Schiff out. Most of them have figured out him out for a while. We, we can't forget that this is on the heels of that two years of lies by Adam Schiff about how he had evidence that the president, uh, you know, colluded with Russia. 
uh, which was ridiculous. Schiff never says the word Russia anymore. He's, he's I believe, right. clearly orchestrated this whistleblower nonsense, and this is going to blow up on him as well. You need money to beat him. EricEarly.com yeah. is the website, correct? Yeah. You know, I get so many uh, great donations from your viewers around the country, uh, E-R-I-C-E-A-R-L-Y.com, and they can put messages on their donations, and I read every one of them, and they inspire me to keep going against right. this viper. Well, there are millions of Americans from coast to coast who would like to see nothing else um, except uh, Eric, Eric Early beating um, Adam Schiff and, and making him have this forced early retirement. Uh, Eric, thank you. Thanks again, Graham. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.